yes, my new walking boots. I think I might try them out. Yeah. Yes. I bought you some new walking boots for Christmas. Yes, you did. And you bought me some. Yes. We went over and, like, it wasn't much of a surprise, was it? Because we kind of knew. No, but we kind of needed each other to try the boots on first. Yeah, exactly. Um, so shall we go and test them out? Let's do it. Excellent. By the way, an orc stomper. Welcome everyone to another episode of The Bright Side. Today, we thought we'd go for a walk. Test out our new walking shoes that we uh, got each other for Christmas. And because we haven't had an opportunity to wear them yet, so we want to get that, uh, get them worn in and whatnot. And then sort of head up in the general direction. I don't know what it's called. Um, we just call it the Waterfall Woods. But it's kind of past um, the youth hostel at Castle Hornick. I call it the Waterfall Woods. It has probably got another name. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Kind of in the direction of Boscathno. We won't be going as far as Boscathno. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. We thought we would wear our, or put our new boots on, see what they feel like, bit of a walk and talk maybe, we'll see how we go. So let's go check it out. What are you doing Tilly? Are you on a, what are you doing? Bug hunt! You're on a bug hunt? I'll show you! So you've, <laughs> so in your bag, you have got a book, haven't you? It's a story book, not information book, but it might spot any of the bugs that are the same in this one. Ah, so you're going to see if you can spot any ants, spiders. any sort of beetles. Spiders? Are sp oh yeah, she's a spider, isn't she? Uh, cricket um, Crickets, where are they? Yeah, uh, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, right there in the middle. And then he was a caterpillar, isn't he? Caterpillar. Alright, loving the bag. We walk quite regularly up into this little wooded area. Uh, we haven't got to the youth hostel yet, that's just up there. Um, obviously I don't film it because um, there's only so much you can kind of film and whatnot. But uh, I, I did, this was actually, um, this is where I filmed my very first out and about vlog about two and a bit years ago. So kind of re-documenting, you know, we've documented it before up there, but um, well, yeah, we'll have another little look. Nice waterfall. This road isn't in a great condition. We've got like potholes everywhere, chuck holes. Fun fact, potholes are round, chuck holes are irregular in shape. How about that? Did you know that? I know that bugs live in them. What? I know that bugs live in them. You know that bugs live in them? Passing over this like little bridge. It's like remnant of uh, this like would have been like a fence to stop you tumbling in. I'm surprised actually they're um, still here because they're actually quite dangerous. I mean I know you would see them but I don't know. If, if it became a little bit more overgrown and you decided to sit on it you'd have a problem. A bit more of that fence there. It obviously doesn't really do anything now because, uh, you know, it, there, there's like the bridge, and I could just walk there and walk into the river. So, you know, I don't, I don't see the point of that now. I don't know why it's still there because, like I said, it, you know, a little bit dangerous. Another angle of the bridge. I like that. Like I said, like I just said, the um, broken bits of fence line there um, to stop you tumbling into the river. Although they're obviously not effective now because they're non-existent. But nice little. Look at that, the keystone there in the middle. That's really nice. Just off the road, more of this like fence here, which has all come away. And here we have a little waterfall. Wow! It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. I like a waterfall. There's something very nice about waterfalls. I think so. The Riggan River is obviously like a managed river. It's all, um, it all comes from the spring, the Holy Spring, the well up at uh, Madron. Um, and it's obviously all managed because, uh, you know, the, the banks are all like made of wool and, and whatnot. So I assume that's to, you know, I assume back in the day they would have been, this river would have been managed for like farming purposes maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but pretty much the whole river is lined with wool, so. I suppose it just stops the water just like cascading out, flooding out uh, into the general area, so uh, yeah. How do your shoes feel? Um, good. Are they good? Yeah. Yeah, they look nice. You've got your socks on as well. I've got some thicker socks too, so we don't get like blisters. 
Um, so yeah, they're, they're nice. Uh, I like them. Yeah, they are. They're nice. I like them. And here is the youth hostel. Welcome to the YHJ Penzance. Just reading here offline, um, or online, that it is a grade two listed building. A refurbished Georgian mansion. West of the Cornish Town of Penzance, obviously, because uh, that's where we are. But uh, yeah, so it's been a hostel since 1950, according to what I'm reading online. But there has been an actual dwelling here since the 12th century. Obviously not that version, that's not uh, that old. But the, um, I believe the Borlase family, let me just read on, the Borlase family, and of course William Copeland Borlase, um, yes, William Copeland Borlase was born at Castle Hornick in 1848. Now, he was the dude who features in a couple of our videos because he was the chap who used to um, go around to lots of the archaeological sites around Cornwall and do a lot of digging. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's where he was born. There it is. So if you're not familiar with this area around Castle Hornick, there's a little, um, little bit of construction going on there, a little bit of, uh, looks like some of the wall or like fencing or bush has been removed, but there's like some parking area there for the houses down here. And we tend to walk up here, and just down on the right hand side is what Tilly calls the tree tunnel that will take us down into the woods. Again, I can't remember what the woods are called, but um, I just call them the waterfall woods. Another little like cottage here, like a farm, says Castle Hornick farm there on that plaque on the side yeah this little drive there and whatnot but we cut down here and uh, like I said Tilly calls this a tree tunnel and it'll take us right down to the woods here we are at the bottom of that path and there's like this big granite these big like granite uh, like slabs that are laid across the river here to form like a like a bridge I want to say but there it is, there's the, uh, there's the river. Yeah. But yeah, these are, these are, what do you think, Shelbel? Look at these, um, these, like, slabs. Yeah. They must have formed, like, some sort of, like, gate or something before, haven't they? They got, like, metal things driven in there. Don't you think? It's a drill to stop things. Oh, well, what, what, maybe like a, a, like, maybe a guard, like a fence or something? Yeah. tree has uh, obviously seen better days. The trees come down. Like I said, this was one of the first places I ever videoed. Um, and what I'll do, I'll, I'll leave a link. I'll leave a link in the description to that uh, sort of very embarrassing video. I say embarrassing, it wasn't embarrassing, it was just one of our first videos. We didn't really know what we were doing then. To be honest, I don't know what I'm doing now. like well. I assume it's like some sort of well. I, I, I just got uh, pricked by a uh, bramble but kind of put the camera in in there and see this former well. Well I suppose it still is a well but oh, yeah. Shoes are still comfortable by the way. And there's a farm up there. Um, basically, all in that direction um, is like a, is all farmland, uh, and you kind of cross over those fields. Just like public right away, it's fine. You can cross them, um, and it'll take you eventually up to like Boscathno and Haymoor. Keep going. You've got to Madrin, of course. Oh, nearly stumbled then in my new boot. Another nice big slab of granite just uh, dropped in place to form a bridge. And a very large tree came down. Shelba, how long ago roughly was this tree, did this tree come down? It was over a year, wasn't it? But it was, maybe a couple of years, it, eh? it was like a big storm, wasn't it? It was a big storm, I forget which one. And yeah. Lots of the trees fell, so they had to come in and chop them all up. And yeah, and obviously lots of smaller branches and stuff like that is all still just lying here. But um, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's been a little bit of a little bit of storm damage 
uh, over the past couple of years. I highly recommend just coming up to these woods. Um, it's just a nice peaceful walk. You don't get too many people up here. You do get the old dog walker. Um, get, you do get a few people just walking their dogs, but um, we've only passed by one gentleman with a big Alsatian um, earlier on. Other than that, it's just been us up here. So yeah, like I say, if you're ever out and about in this area, come on up. So it does form like a circular path. You can obviously come back in this direction, um, but there's like the higher path, which we'll show you in a minute, which takes you up that way. And it, it comes out in the same area. It spills out in that, that sort of tree tunnel as Matilda describes it. But yeah, you can, you can do like a little loop here, which is, uh, which, is, which is probably what we'll do. We've got all these like drainage gullies dug in to the ground here. I can only imagine something to do with the farm maybe i don't know i assume that's what it's all for just to keep um the water flowing in a general direction so it doesn't all sort of pool i assume that's what these drainage like gullies are for if you know or you have a little bit more info then just let me know in the comments because i'd like to know side of that building I don't know if, it, I can't tell from this perspective whether it's just a wall or whether there's more around the back of it, but obviously all the side there is all busted in, it's all like partially collapsed where those cows are. Um, obviously that sort of structure has seen better days for sure. And there's those cows again. It really smells. I pointed out when I was last up here, pointed out this stone that's embedded in the ground. You've got like this, it's obviously like a rectangular shape generally, but you've got this like big circular chunk carved out of it. And this shape in here carved out. I wonder what that was. Again, if you know, let me know in the comments. To get a good purchase here because it is quite slippery. In fact, Matilda just took a little tumble and uh, got herself all dirty. So Shelley's just taking the kids back that way, which will be which will lead up to the main path. I'm just going to go this way just to get a closer look at the uh, waterfall, which is obviously the feature here that uh, gives this woods its name. In my book, anyway. I, I call it Waterfall Woods, but um, like I said, I don't know what it's actually called. Very nice. Right beside the waterfall, it looks like someone has like built this structure. This flimsy structure was like a coat over there, and obviously uh, they've been drinking it up a bit because there's some there's a pack there for Stella Artois. What a shame! I don't know. Just you know, it's fine. You can do whatever, but take your trash with you because this is actually a very nice spot, and uh, you know, just looks a bit rubbish. Now I'm no expert. Um, about like water management and stuff but obviously with that farm over there I'm now stood up on this like wall which to the left of it from my perspective you've got all this standing water and then the waterfall down there so I assume that the waterfall is generally man-made or at least the water is encouraged to go in that direction um, because of this structure here. So it kind of like, it's almost like a bit of a, like a, you know, like a retention pond kind of thing. And it 
the water goes down that way to carry on down the river. Just keeps the river all controlled or the water controlled because like I said this is all like natural water up from the Madron Holy Well. Um, so I guess to stop the land flooding too much we've kind of obviously built all this to funnel that water to channel it down because of course if you were to like get some waders on or something and you would you know walk the walk down the river um, it would eventually take you through uh, like by the boating pool and um, the western part of a promenade but in Wearytown and you'll uh, head out to sea all this water in a few minutes time will be in the sea wonder how long it takes wonder how long it takes to get from here the water to the sea I don't know there's a view looking back at all that retained water just kind of in the center of frame there is that little is that drop off where it then formulates into that waterfall um, obviously we walked in that direction so yeah so this is actually very flooded because normally you can access that area by just walking across this path and this path is usually dry but currently it's full of water so I'm certainly not going to jump that um, and I don't want to get my brand new walking boots wet but yeah so we normally like walk up there the kids enjoy playing around up there and in that first video I did like the second ever vlog or something like that um, I had a BLT just on the other side of that mound and like I said I will link that in the description if you want to uh, if you want to look at that video so as stated follow the river in that direction and you get to Wherrytown and the sea and follow the river in that direction and you'll go up to the Holy Well at Madron and I have documented the Holy Well uh, a couple of times so what I'll do I'll leave a link in the description if you want to see those videos just gonna carry on down this path a little bit the kids are just playing there by the river so I said to show you that I'll be back in a couple of minutes well hopefully I mean it looks a bit sort of Blair Witch doesn't it my goodness or like I'm in like wilderness campaign in the American Civil War it's like Spotsylvania something like that whoa and then you fell down a hole. I always seem to be falling down holes and you'd be a bit more careful. Those fields, if you cross the river, uh, although I think you've got right away through the farm, I believe you have, um, but either either, cross the river and you walk up through those fields, you'll get up to um, Haymore and, uh, and Boscathno Reservoir. And again, if I remember, I'll, I'm leaving quite a few links in the description but if I remember to leave if you want to see that video with Biscasno again I'll uh, leave a link in the description I wonder, what this, I wonder what this structure would have been back in the day it's all overgrown now it's not that old it's only made of like concrete block so it's not anything ancient particularly in the roof the roof there is only made of like corrugated metal so it's definitely not an old structure but in here it has, I don't know what's in those black bears, probably just someone's dumped some rubbish or something but it's got like that uh, like support that could have held like a engine or like an engine piece of machinery something like that and then straight opposite there's this rectangular drop in the ground if you know if you know what all this is or was let me know in the comments basically the end of this bit of woods um, the path if you follow the path it, it just comes around in a loop and I'll be back where uh, Shelley and the kids are private property states there keep out See someone's homestead down there. But we're gonna go up this hill. And just over just over this hill. Um, you can't access it from here. It 
it's all been um, it's all been like fenced off. But just over the hill, very close, is um, the ancient like you know uh, what's it called, Lazingi Round, which is like an ancient Iron Age hill fort. <laughs> and again, I've documented that, so I'll leave another link in the description if you want to see my video of Lazingi Round. I might go back up there at some point. Um, I sort of re-document it. It was one of my very, very early vlogs. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe one day we'll go back up to Lazingi Round. Nice view. You can actually get a better view in some ways at this time of year because you've got no, you've got less foliage. Or well, the foliage that's here is less full, I suppose, if you know what I mean. There's a river, just down there. Nice. And uh, somebody's been using this area at some point for like a campfire. Get some logs to sit on, get your marshmallows going, make some s'mores. Nice. Nice little area. Oh, my goodness. And there we are. Hey, you got your camera out, Tilly. Are you shooting a video? No, we're taking pictures. Are you taking photos? Are you taking pictures on your one? <laughs> nice. Uh, that's where I entered that little loop. And that's where I've come out. So, I didn't take long. A couple of minutes. And just on the opposite side of the river are all these rusted out farm tools, bits of equipment. Hard to see from this angle, they look like they could have been maybe some like drinking troughs or something like that. There is something up there that I can't quite get an angle on, but uh, yeah, some rusted out bits of farming equipment. So that higher path that I mentioned before is out that way. So we came this way. There is that strange uh, like chiselled stone that I've asked, obviously, you know, if you know what it is, let me know in the comments. Um, a waterfall back in that direction where we've just come from. And we're now, instead of going back that way, we're going to go this way. And that will take us on that higher path, which I'll show you guys when we're up there. Just walking along the trail here and there's another down tree here. Or I say another, that's a, that was that big tree that came down in the storm. Um, a couple of years back, I want to say, and it was all kind of strewn in that general area. There's the other path that we uh, walked along to get out that way, um, and we're obviously now on that higher area. But uh, but yeah, there's there's the old tree, another remnant of a tree snapped off in bad weather. Go around the other side because actually you can still see the bulk of it there. Look. Yeah, sad in a way. I don't like seeing trees down, but I know when they get a little a little bit rotten and they're old, I suppose, you know, a little breath of wind and they're gone. Actually, without all the summer bloomage, I can actually access this sort of hill area. I've never actually been up here before. What I'm looking for, if I can get to the top. We'll see if we can look across and get a view of Lazingi Round. Because uh, like I said, it really isn't that far. And I've never actually walked up here because, like I said, the, uh, usually in the summer it's a lot more overgrown. I don't know if I'll be able to get to the top, but let's, let's find out. Okay, that was a bit of a climb. Um, yeah, so there it is. There's Lazingi Round. Up there. I believe it is. It looks like it. it looks like the shaped trees. Interesting, so we are very close to Lazingi Round, but obviously it's on farmland and uh, all fenced off. Nice views of the uh, bay down there. Nice. It's all, it's all like surrounded by farmland, so I wouldn't access Lazingi Round kind of this way. I'm sure no one would know. You might have right away, I'm not sure, but... Uh, I don't know, it's all fenced off anyway, but yeah, zingy round, just up there. So, let's, Oh, Right, let's rejoin Shell Bell and the kids. Which way did I get up here? Okay. If I don't survive, I've enjoyed being a YouTuber for the past couple of years. 
know that I love and appreciate you all for tuning in, giving me likes, giving me comments. I think we're building up a nice little Bryce Side community. We have a few regular people that comment. It's a big, big shout out to them because, you know, without you guys, this channel wouldn't be a thing. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera off now so I can concentrate. Okay, made it back on the path. Oh, something sharp. Something sharp in my shoe. Some sort of thorn in there. I'll have to get that out. This old farm. I was going to say house, but I assume it was never a house. It might have been a house at some point. It might have been a dwelling. But, um, farm building. We'll say farm building. It's uh, definitely seen better days. Look at that roof. Yeah. Uh, carry on that way, that'll be into the fields uh, that I just poke my head into and obviously then lazing around that way. But we are heading home! Because, actually, I want a coffee. Okay, let me sing a song together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As always, thank you for watching. It is most appreciated. I do hope you enjoyed that little episode of The Bright Side. Like I said, we had no game plan other than just to test out our new boots. They appear to be comfortable, and uh, Shelley and I are both happy with those, so that's great. Do all the usual YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, smash the bell. We are on social... <laughs> Kids are going berserk over there. Uh, we are on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Bright Side, so check us out there. So from us to you, cheers. I'm gone. Uh, I was going to like use these stepping stones, but uh, mm, no, I'm going to get wet feet. That means I'm going to have to go all the way around. Darn it. Tilly, I can't swing across the river, can I? Let me look. I mean, look how far. Look how far it is! I don't, I'm not an acrobat, I can't like, no, I'm not doing that!